All right, what's up you sexy people? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about credit cards and what is currently in my wallet. And you're probably wondering, hey, you're not Ask Sebi. You're not Graham Stephan. You're not Brian Jung, Credit Shifu. No, I'm Austin Porcinkula. And today we're gonna to be talking about credit cards. I'm the new kid on the block, ready to work my way to the top. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna go over what's in my wallet uh, in December of 2020. And uh, also go over like what these, what I use these cards for and um, a few other cards that I have that I don't really use. So let's get into it. So I really only carry three cards in my wallet. That is the American Express Platinum card the American Express Gold Card, and the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And that's pretty much all I carry it for. So for the American Express Platinum Card, I know I haven't been able to use it as much this year, but that's kind of like my like status card. So there's a lot of perks I get with it. I get status at hotels, 5X points on flights booked directly with the airlines or through amextravel.com, 5X on hotels, booked through amextravel.com. They also have the um, some hotel programs that grant you some like special perks, like $100 credit when you uh, book with the hotel or um, some other special perk. And it's honestly really nice and they treat you very special when you book through those hotels. There's also a bunch of purchase protections uh, that you get so I like to use it on all my big purchases because if something happens to my product I can always count on American Express to uh, kind of deal with it for me so that is also a plus on top of that there are a bunch of different credits that you get so you get a $200 incidental fee credit with it with a specific airline you can use that for anything from like lounge access to purchasing food on flights or baggage fees, change fees, um, anything like that. I know you might see it on like the points guy or some other forms, but some people say that some airlines, if you buy like a really low flight, it could trigger it, but I don't like to test the waters with that. I like to follow the rules um, for some of this stuff. Actually for all this stuff, what am I saying? I like to follow the rules, follow the rules kids. And then another credit that you get is uh, $200 annually with Uber. So you get $200 of Uber cash split up. You get $15 every month. And then in December, you get $35. Um, so it's December, I have $35 worth of Uber cash. I personally just use it for Uber Eats just because I don't use Uber that often. Uh, that's what I use my Chase card for, for uh, car sharing. Or I use a service called Gig Car, which is where it's a car rental service that you, car sharing service that you can rent and drive the car yourself. So uh, that is mostly what I use it for, what I use to get around. That's what I meant. So another credit that you get with the Amex Platinum card is a $100 Saks credit. So you can use that um, shopping at Saks Fifth Avenue and it is split up between $50 every six months. So $50 you can spend between January and June, and then July through December. $50 is not much uh, considering what is at Saks, but you know you can find some little accessories or whatever you want, um, or just get something big and not have to pay tax. So up to you. You also get status with car rental companies just like Hertz and um, who is it? a couple other ones that I cannot remember at the moment, but uh, that's always nice to get a free upgrade with your car rentals. I have not used it yet because I have not needed to rent a car on vacation yet, but I hope to soon when we can travel again. So that'll be nice. And then there's a whole bunch of other things that you get with the Amex card. It's, there's so much that it can go into its own video. So like this video, comment down below if you wanna see that. Uh, I will gladly dive deep into the world of the Amex Platinum. So yeah, overall, I really like the Amex Platinum card. It's probably the fav my favorite card of 
all the ones that I have. Uh, just because all the status perks and of course the Amex plot, uh, the Amex customer service is just the absolute best. They answer my questions and they solve my problems really quickly and efficiently and they are just the absolute best so thank you Amex. So the Amex gold card uh, that I have, that's kind of like my workhorse card because you get 4x points on dining and supermarkets, 3x points on flights, uh, booked directly through the airline again, or on amextravel.com, but I have 5x on the platinum card, so I would never be booking flights on that with that card. I just kind of use it as just kind of a card just to rack up points as fast as possible, pretty much just on groceries and uh, eating. Um, additionally, you do get a $100 incidental fee airline incidental fee credit, a $10 dining credit each month through either uh, participating Shake Shacks, a few other restaurants, or when using Grubhub. So I make sure to use that dining credit um, pretty much only through Grubhub. Grubhub. Just a great card to kind of rack points on. And then the third card, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, uh, I use that the least. Essentially, I use it anytime I cannot use Amex. The card is great. Uh, the point earning is great because you get 3x on travel and dining. And the travel category is actually a very broad category. So in comparison to the platinum, you can only get the 5x points directly, booking directly through airlines or on amextravel.com and then hotels is only through amextravel.com but on Chase's side their travel category is anything from Ubers, Lyfts, uh, public transportation, parking meters and then any sort of hotel booking or airline booking. Whether that's through a travel site like Expedia.com, Orbitz, Hotels.com, uh, or directly with the uh, vendor itself, um, you will still get those 3x points. When you redeem those points on Chase's website, through their ultimate rewards portal, you will get 50% more value in it, which is always great. On top of that, uh, you also get a bunch of different purchase protections um, and credits as well. One of the credits that you do get is a $300 travel credit. So what I used that for earlier this year was basically just booking an entire hotel trip down in San Diego. So spent it on a nice hotel because it was $300 and I just kind of felt like it was worth it. They also have a DoorDash credit right now, which is split up between $60 every year, as in this year and then 2021. I don't know, I mean, I already use it. I don't see that much value in that because it's spread out over such a long period of time, like $60 in one year is like pennies to a lot of people. You also get 10X points on Lyft rides using your Chase Sapphire Reserve card. So that is what I use instead of Uber, just because I can rack up those 10x points. Even though I personally don't even use rideshare services that often, I do prefer to drive myself, so I will get the uh, gig car rentals um, just so I can drive myself around. Um, it just makes more sense, but I am still getting that 3x value because it is a, it is categorized as a travel um, transaction. Oh, and something I forgot to mention, uh, both the Amex Platinum and the Chase Sapphire Reserve both get a $100 global entry credit or TSA credit, I forgot what it's called, but you can use it towards you know TSA pre-check or global entry. Honestly, just get global entry for $15 more. It makes international travel easier when you come back into the, uh, the US through customs. So definitely recommend that. Also, both of the cards include a priority pass membership. So that gets you access into a bunch of lounges um, at airports that um, makes your travel experience a lot better. Um, obviously with the Amex Platinum, you do get the Centurion Lounge access, 
uh, which is really great at um, at certain airports because it is just beautiful. I haven't been to a big one. The one here in Seattle is a small one because it doesn't have a full kitchen, unfortunately, but it is always still great to be in a lounge and relaxing with drinks. So yeah, uh, that's just a little rundown of the current cards that are in my wallet. Um, let me just run through some other cards that I have uh, that I don't really use that often. One card I do have is an Amex Green corporate card. Uh, this is something I have for work. It is required for us to have it um, for uh, business expenses and stuff like that. My first credit card that I've ever gotten, I still have to this day, it's a no annual fee card. It is the Bank of America cash rewards card. It is now like a rotating category 3% cash back. Yeah, I don't use this card. I don't have much value in it. Um, I do prefer travel points over cash rewards. That's personally just my opinion. Um, you know, teach their own on that. Some people like cash back. I also have the Alaska Airlines credit card with Bank of America. Um, it is the second credit card I've ever gotten. I pretty much only use that for the companion fare. Um, other than that, it doesn't have much value in terms of in terms of point earnings. Uh, you only get the three x points back when booking with Alaska. So even though I do fly Alaska a lot, I would rather get the five x points through my platinum card. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed what's in my wallet for December of 2020. Let me know what your favorite card is uh, that I have. Let me know what your favorite card is. Um, if you guys are interested in the any of the credit cards that I showed today, uh, I will have a referral link down below for them. So, you know, send your boy a bonus so I can save up for some travel. You know? But yeah, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.